Colt Sebastian Taylor, adventurer, entrepreneur, and amateur theater goer. I'm here with my new best friend, Regina. Regina, who do you play in this production? I play Sonia. Sonia. Now that name is in the title of the play, so I'm guessing it's important. What is, without giving anything away, what is Sonia like? Sonia is uh, somebody who has had a very rough time in her life. She's spent her entire life living in the house that you see on the stage. Uh, she has spent most of her adult life caring for her elderly parents. She's never had any opportunity to have a job, have a romance. Uh, she's depressed and and uh, she suffers from low self-esteem in a lot of ways. Oh my goodness, so not, not sunshine and rainbows from Sonia. Um, so if you had met, if you meet, so if you, Sonia existed, would you be friends with her or would it be someone who you would sort of just shuffle off to the side and casually leave her be? I'd be friends with her up until the point she started annoying me with the constant whining. Oh, she's a bit of a whiner. Oh, I see. Um, now, for this character, is there anyone in your real life that you're using this as motivation? Like, oh, this person's kind of like this. I can be like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Great. Um, so, how many plays have you done at this theater? This is my fourth. Okay. Yes. Your fourth play here. Fourth or fifth. Fourth. Fourth, fourth or fifth. Fourth or fifth. Fourth or fifth play here. And uh, how long have you been doing uh, theater in general? Since 1974. Wow, that's amazing. So. Since you have uh, such a, a lot of experience, what makes this theater and this sort of, you know, production behind the theater and this play different than other places you've been? This theater has been extraordinarily welcoming to me. Uh, I initially auditioned for, um, I auditioned, initially auditioned for, and then there were none. And I wound up being cast in another show and not doing the show here. But um, since then I auditioned for Doubt and, uh, what motivated me there is, first of all, bucket list role, playing Sister Aloysius, and secondly, I work up the street. <laughs> right. So, uh, uh, but since I've been here, it's been extraordinarily welcoming. The people here are absolutely great. I just love working at Village Players. It just seemed to, that does seem to be a common theme that everyone's very much a close-knit group of people, which, you know, as I imagine, being an amateur theater goer, it's important to trust the people you're with on stage. Absolutely, you have to trust the people you're with on stage. First of all, not just to you know to do what you kind of expect them to do on stage, but also to help you if you blow it and you don't do what you're expected to do on stage. Now, um, going back to this play, this play is uh, hilarious. Now, what without again without giving away any spoilers on a scale from one to ten? Well, on a scale from one to I've almost peed my pants ten. Uh, where would you rate this play? I'd rate this play at least an eight and a half to a nine. Eight and a, you better, you know, don't wear your rubber pants, people, because you're in for a treat here tonight. Now, from what I understand, um, the entire inside of, this, of the seats have been completely redone. Now, these are some really, really nice seats. Do you think there is any bad, any bad seat in the theater? No, not anymore. Not since uh, they've, I believe they've subtly angled them all so that they all face the, you know, they all are kind of pointing in the direction of the stage as opposed to just straight on. So no, no neck crinks. Right. Okay. All right. So final question. Let's pretend I am the famous director, George Lucas. I'm surrounded by stormtroopers and um, maybe Howard the Duck and, um, and, um, Convince me, the Stormtroopers, and unfortunately the Howard the Duck, to come and see your movie. In this situation, this hand will be Howard the Duck because he's very short. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. In the case of the Stormtroopers, come see the show or Vader's going to dock your pay. In the case of Howard the Duck, you'll get a re-release of your movie and it'll gross $100 billion. Okay, okay, you're down to one, just George Lucas. Mm, you'll get a pay raise of $100 billion, George. It's a hard sell. George Lucas is definitely coming. Thank you very much, Regina, for your time, and break a leg.